Hey YouTube fam, it's your girl Alicia and I'm back with another DIY video. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make these pastel color cocoa melon chocolate bar purses. Now these purses came out super super cute and the reason why I wanted to share this with you guys is because I actually have a customer that bought a bunch of different pastel color chocolate bar templates from my website and she th turned it into these cocoa melon purses because for her child's birthday party so once she sent me the pictures I said wow look at what she used my chocolate bar templates to create I said you know what I want to recreate those as well and share that with my YouTube family because her designs just came out so nice so like always if you want to make these the same way that I made them and the same way as my customer check out my website creativecraftlc.com i'll leave the link down below and scroll down to where you see my chocolate bar purses once you click into that you'll see my different chocolate bar purse designs so i'm going to go ahead and use six of the pastel colors for this video i'm going to use yellow lilac pink taupe minty green and a powder blue so i'm going to use those six colors in this video then also i made the job easier for you guys by doing some pre-cut cocoa melon designs as well in pastel colors i'm sorry about that guys my washing machine is actually running so please ignore that but to find those pastel cutouts head, head over to the 3d image layers section on my shop and there you can find them it says melon 3d pastel this is actually a zip file and there's three pages of images in the zip file once you get these you want to go ahead and open the zip file and set and go ahead and print each of those pages i'm just going to show you guys how they look really quickly so in the first page the graphics that i have in that page is going to be the bows and some small little cocoa melon cutouts okay and then in our second page once you go ahead and click that in that page we're going to go ahead and we're going to have our cocoa melon cutouts in large medium and then the small cocoa melons and then in the third page we're going to have our rainbow designs and some cocoa melon cutouts as well now go ahead and save these these are each going to be jpg so go ahead and print those now you can convert it into a cut file and use it on your cricut machine in design studio but i'm just going to go ahead and print them and cut them out by hand so i'm printing these on white cardstock solid white cardstock paper okay and then these are how they look after they come out the printer i used my inkjet printer to print these but whether you use an inkjet or a laser they should still come out really really nice but yeah so i went ahead and used my inkjet and printed these and these are how they came out I'm going to also go ahead and print the chocolate bar purses and the templates and show you how those came out as well. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do the pink, the yellow, and the mint green on camera. Okay, I'm doing three different designs. So the other three that I'm going to make as well, I don't have to do on camera. It's going to be the same, just different color chocolate bar purses. So here's our light pink, and then we have our light or our pastel yellow and then we have our minty or our pastel green so i'm going to be doing those three in the videos so what i'm going to do here just to create them the first thing that we have to do of course is go ahead and cut out our chocolate bar templates or our chocolate bar purses and on each purse they are fold lines showing you where to fold down to put the chocolate bar purse together and i'm going to go ahead and show you guys that so i'm just going to first go ahead and cut out each purse and then come back and show you guys how to assemble
okay so now that we cut out all of our templates this is how they look so all we have to do is assemble them and as you can see there are some lines going across like two lines on each side of the chocolate bar purse and those are our fold lines they're kind of light but you can still see them because i make them dark enough where you can see them you can see the difference between the you know the regular print and the, and the fold the fold lines as well so i'm going to go ahead and start with the minty color you see those lines there's two on every side of the chocolate bar purse so you have to fold down each line to put the chocolate bar purse together so we're going to go ahead and we're going to do that so first thing first i just go ahead and i flip my chocolate bar purse on the wrong on the right side and then we're going to go ahead and fold each line one on top and one on bottom i tend to fold the second line first because it does make it easier and then we fold the the first line after and just go ahead and do this all the way around this is super super easy to do this i'm going to do a class or put up a youtube video on how to design your own chocolate bar purse from scratch how to um, do the graphics and everything probably going to do a video showing you guys how to do that using canva probably pick monkey i'm not sure and offer a template so you guys can design your own but like i said if you have a particular theme or design that you want and it's not on the website definitely reach out to me and let me know so i'm going to go ahead and finish folding each side or the last side of this chocolate bar template then i'm going to go ahead and glue this together so you can use double-sided tape but i'm using my glue gun because i've already plugged it up and i honestly i couldn't find where i put my double-sided tape but okay so afterwards you just go ahead and you fold inward both of your side tabs and you fold up the bottom and that's how we assemble these super duper easy guys you can make a ton of these in no time so i'm going to go ahead and grab our glue gun i'm just going to put some glue on each of our side tabs in working with the glue gun you do have to work pretty quickly because the glue gun does dry fast which is a good thing but when you're folding down your side tab you have to do it fairly quickly before the glue dries okay so once we get that glue on there, I'm going to go ahead and just fold up the bottom and press it onto our side tabs. And what I like to do is I like to do this with the chocolate bar inside of the chocolate bar purse because it gives you something to press on. But you can also put your finger in the inside like what I'm doing right now just to seal those side tabs into place. The glue gun dries super quickly so it doesn't take any time to, to seal this together. And then once we have that done, I'm going to go ahead and do our other two. Then I'm going to come back and show you guys the closures that I use to close each of the chocolate bar purses. So now that's, that that's done, before I show you how to use the closures, I'm going to go ahead and just going to go ahead and design each one. So I'm going to show you which images I'm going to cut out and use for each purse. Now you can do this in whatever variety or whatever way you want to. I'm just going to show you guys what I did to create the look that I created in this video. So I'm going to go ahead and put these chocolate bar purses aside and I'm going to go ahead and get our layer cutouts to give our chocolate bar that 3D pastel cocoa melon look that we're going for in this video. So I'm going to go ahead and grab those papers and grab my scissors. So um, for this minty green, I think I'm going to go ahead and do like the rainbow 
color. I'm sorry that my camera is coming out of focus, guys. Please bear with me. Okay, I just went ahead and wiped it off real quick. <laughs> Hopefully that helps. Okay, the, here we go. So now I'm going to go ahead and grab my images and I'm going to cut out one of the rainbows. And I'm going to probably cut out, of course, one of the little cocoa melons. I'm also going to cut out um, two of our um, cocoa melon silhouette pieces i'm probably going to use let me see what color i mean you can use whatever color you want to use i probably want to use like a powder blue or a lilac on this for the first layer and maybe we're going to go with like a probably lilac on a second well you know what it doesn't matter to each his own i'm just going to go ahead and play around until i figure out what colors i'm going to use and i'm going to cut out two of the little cocoa melon um, silhouettes one of the large and one of the small ones as well as a small little cocoa melon image as well and I've done all of these in pastel colors so they can all go with that cocoa melon pastel color theme so if you have a, a party and you want to do these but it's not cocoa melon but you have a different party theme definitely definitely reach out to me and let me know what theme of your party is and I can try to make those characters or that theme of the, of the images that you need in pastel colors as well and have available for you on the website i know that i'm going to do a care bears theme in pastel i think i have like about maybe about four different designs that i want to show you guys how to do in pastel colors because pastel colors for child's parties especially little girls seem to really trend right now now that i have those images that i want to use for that first purse cut out i'm going to go ahead and put it by the first purse which is our mint purse then i'm going to go ahead and take our second sheet of images and i'm going to go ahead and cut out a few out of those as well for our second purse and the third one as well and then i'm going to come back and show you guys how we cut them out and put them onto the chocolate bar purses <laughs> now that i went ahead and cut out each image that i want to use for each chocolate bar purse i'm going to go ahead and show you guys how i put them together so the first one i'm going to do is our mint color chocolate bar purse and i'm going to use the rainbow but okay the images have a white outline and a black outline around that so for these and for these purses i don't want to use the black outline but i do want that white outline to show so i'm going to go ahead and cut out the black outline now you can leave the black outlines if you want to it just depends on what look you're going for because i want this to be more pastel i'm going to go ahead and cut out those black outlines but you can leave them basically the back the black outline is just a guide of cutting out the image because they do have white outlines and if i did not put a black outline on top of the white you would be cutting out the white as well and for some of these um favors it does look really good with that white outline 
on the image if that makes sense okay so i'm gonna go ahead and cut out the black on this rainbow and this is how it looks okay then i'm gonna go ahead and cut out the other pieces as well and i'm also gonna go ahead and cut out the black outline now on some of the designs i went ahead and cut out both the black and the white outline i think for this chocolate bar purse i'm going to also cut out that white outline as as, as well so on the rainbow i just went ahead and cut out the black outline but on these cocoa melon silhouettes i'm going to also go ahead and cut out the black and the white for the other favors i believed i went ahead and left that white outline on there and only cut the black so i'm just going to go ahead and do this and i'm going to i'm going to let it run regular time i'm not going to speed the clip up because i want you guys to really see how i put these together i'm just going to go ahead and run this and come back and show you guys how it looks once i'm ready to put this together <laughs> Okay, so now that I've cut out all the pieces for the first chocolate bar purse, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to put the closures onto these little purses. Now, I get these little Velcro dots, these little Velcro fasteners. I call them little clear dots from Amazon. And I'm going to put the link down below of where you can find them on Amazon. You can also find them at Walmart, but they have the bigger ones at Walmart. I wanted the smaller ones, so I got these off of Amazon. And they came with Prime, so they came like the very next day after I ordered it. So they're very, very, very very small smaller than they're probably dime size or a little bit smaller than dime size and they come with a rough side and a soft side they're based they're velcro dots guys okay so they have the rough side and the soft side so i'll just go ahead and put one on top and then take another one the reverse side of the other one and go ahead and put that on top of that one as well okay i basically attach the soft side to the rough side and that way the sticky part is still showing and then what i go what i go ahead and do is place the chocolate bar purse together and just rub gently and then once you open it you should have one dot on each side that's how simple and easy it is these are small dots they're lightweight and they hold the chocolate bar purse closed because you don't want them to just be flying over on your cake or dessert table so yeah so that's what i use to do the closures on the chocolate bar purses and then to do these 3d images or to put our cutouts on the chocolate bar purse i use these foam dots okay these are very good to use for any 3d craft and projects that you might have so i get these from amazon as well and i'm going to link those down below as well these come in two sizes they have larger dots and smaller dots and they're perfect for you know different size projects you might be using them for so i'm just going to go ahead and line up the images the way that i want them to look on a chocolate bar purse then i'm going to go ahead and take our dots and go ahead and put them onto our chocolate bar purse so i'm going to start with our rainbow since that's our first image or our first layer on this purse and i'm going to go ahead and get some dots and go ahead and just put a couple of them onto the rainbow and then after i put them onto the rainbow i'm going to peel off the little backings that come on the dots so that the sticky sides could show and then i'm going to go ahead and stick it onto the chocolate bar purse 
exactly where I wanted to be on the purse. So this, this project is very simple. And like I said, it came out so cute. Thank you for the customer for sharing that with me and sending me those pictures and inspiring me to make this video so I can share this with you guys. So yeah, this is super simple, super easy. And you don't have to put a whole lot of dots. I only put a couple because these images are so small. You don't have to put a whole lot. Just put a few on each. And then we're going to go ahead and just peel off the backing of those dots so we can have the sticky side exposed. And then we're just going to go ahead after doing that, we're going to line it up on our chocolate bar and place it on our chocolate bar. Okay, super simple, super, super easy. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that. And then once I have this chocolate bar finished, I'm going to come back and we're going to do the other ones together as well. <laughs> guys so this is how our first mint color chocolate bar purse look if i can get my camera to focus came out super super cute nice and pastel um you can add more layers and add more cutouts if you want to but this was good enough for me for the sake of this video not being too long i just went ahead and put a few layers on each chocolate bar between three and four okay so i'm just gonna go ahead and finish the other ones i believe on the other two chocolate bar purses i went ahead and cut out both the white and the black outlines no you know what i'm sorry i went ahead and cut out only the black outlines on the other ones okay and i so so that the white outline can stay on the image okay so i'm just gonna go ahead and finish off our other two and then come back and show you guys how all three of them look all together this project is super simple you guys are gonna love the way these turned out especially if you're doing a pastel color chocolate bar i mean i'm sorry a pastel color cocoa melon theme party this is perfect super super cute in love <laughs> Thank you. 
So this is how our pink chocolate bar purse came out. Look at how cute this is. And you see I left that white outline on there. And you see how nice that makes it look. Super, super cute. Super, super nice. Very effortless and easy to make, guys. Very, very cute. So I'm just going to go ahead and finish up, do our yellow one. And then I'm going to come back and show you guys how all of them look all together once they're done. <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, so here is our last chocolate bar purse. Here is our yellow one. And all of them came out so cute. I hope you guys truly enjoy this. If you made it this far into the video, thank you guys so much. So I'm going to go ahead and line up all of them and show you guys how they look. And then I'm going to give you guys like a little up close on all of them towards the ending of this video but yeah guys these are how they came out super super cute like i said if you have a pastel color birthday party but it's not coco melon definitely reach out to me and let me know so i can try to you know create some kind of templates for you guys but yeah these are how they turned out these are so so cute like i am in love like i wish that i had a baby so that i can do a pastel color cocoa melon themed birthday party because i will definitely be putting these on her dessert table because they are so stinking cute but yeah guys if you made it to the ending of this video definitely give me a like and a thumbs up if you've enjoyed this i'm sorry if i talk too fast i have been receiving the complaints in, in my email and i'm trying to work on it please bear with me okay but yeah but these came out super cute i love them if you have any questions definitely hit me up and send me an email definitely give this a try okay if you want me to change anything or add definitely leave me a comment and let your girl know okay but thank you guys so much i appreciate every single view every single like every single comment i'm truly grateful and like always god bless Oh, mm -hmm.